Hey, this is Anthony Cesari with SuccessForYourSongs.com. Performing a cover song can be an art in itself. If you're looking to fill out your set when you're performing, you might throw in a couple of covers played almost identically to the original version. Uh, and we've all played cover songs like that before. They're fun and easy for the crowd to get into because they're so recognizable. But sometimes you really want to make a cover song special. You want to make it your own and you want to treat it as if it were something that you wrote and you want to breathe this whole new life into it. And why not? I mean, that's what some of the best cover songs ever recorded have done. A familiar one is Joe Cocker's version of the Beatles with a little help from my friends. Joe Cocker completely reimagined that song to give it his own feel. It's as if it were completely stripped down and rebuilt with only subtle hints of the original left intact. intact. Um, and there are a lot of solid cover versions that have been uh, reinvented from their originals. Another big one is Marilyn Manson's version of the Eurythmics, uh, Sweet Dreams. So I want to take a look at that one in this video and see how Marilyn Manson made it his own so that you can take a similar approach when you're reinventing your cover songs. So first check out the original Eurythmics version and then check out Marilyn Manson's cover and I'll either have links for those on the screen here or down below or both. So check those out uh, before moving on. So if the Marilyn Manson version uh, is a bit too over the top for you, I mean, I could see that it's definitely a specific style, but that's his style and that's what we're talking about here. It's doing this an existing song uh, in your own style. So let's take a look at what he did. Uh, one thing was vocal delivery. A big change between the two songs was in the vocal delivery uh, that Marilyn Manson had. The simple thing that Manson did in his version was he sang the song the way he normally sings a song. He wasn't doing an impression of Annie Lennox. He wasn't trying to cater to what the old version of the song was. He sang it the way he sings. And if you want to make a cover song your own, you have to sing it in your own voice. Don't do an impression, uh, unless of course you're an impressionist, in which case this video is probably not what you're looking for anyway. Uh, and in other videos, I've talked about fusing emotion with lyrics, and it's such an important part of vocal delivery. And Marilyn Manson has said that he's covered this song because the lyrics are so dark, and that fits his style. When he sings the words, they sound dark because that's how he delivers a song. The lyrics meant something to him, so he was able to easily attach emotion to them. Another change that Manson made in his version was the decision to slow down the tempo of the original. Changing the tempo of a song can greatly affect the mood of a song. And what he did worked to his advantage because it's that slowed down tempo of the song fed into that dark, creepy vibe that he was looking for. Had he kept the tempo the same as the original, a lot of that dark mood would have been lost and tempo is a major mood setter. Figure out what the mood of the song should be and adjust the tempo accordingly. And before we move on, I just wanna say that if you have not yet uh, downloaded our free cheat sheet, you can do that by tapping the I in the corner of the screen there. So please do that if you're interested in mo learning more information similar to what you're learning in this video. Okay, back to cover songs. Uh, adding lyrics is another thing you can do to make a cover song your own. Sprinkling in some of your own applicable lyrics can be a cool little staple to making a song yours. Sometimes it's as simple as uh, when the Ataris updated Don Henley's song, Boys of Summer, they added the line, I saw a black flag sticker on a Cadillac, and they used black flag as an updated replacement for deadhead. And in Sweet Dreams, uh, take a look at the chorus to both versions of the song. They include a couple lines that say, some of them want to use you, some of them want to abuse you. You probably remember that part. And later in his song, Marilyn Manson adds the line, I want to use you and abuse you. He's saying, I want to use you and abuse you to play into that original chorus. He's implying that he's the one in the chorus. He's the one that the chorus is referring to when it says some of them want to use you. So it's a cool little twist to what's being said in the original song. Instrumentation is another thing that you can consider when creating your own cover songs. Marilyn Manson used his own style of instrumentation. Sweet Dreams was originally an 80s song with an 80s synthesizer sound, and Marilyn Manson's version came out in the 90s, and it sounds like a 90s song. But it sounds like Manson's own special style of 90s. Uh, the drawn-out sound and the distorted wah-wah effects on the guitars 
lend a huge hand in the overall arrangement of his version. And they're also along the lines of what Marilyn Manson songs typically sound like. So you can see just enough of the original song intact here to make it recognizable, but Marilyn Manson did a solid job of changing a lot of the song's original elements to make it his own. Maybe there are other things that you noticed that I might have missed, uh, which is great if you can find those. And next time you're planning your own cover, uh, you can think about those things and the things that we talked about here in this video to give the song your own style. And maybe you'll start small just by changing the key of the song so it suits your vocal range. But then you can keep pushing it and using some of the elements that you saw here to see where it takes you. The possibilities are really endless when you start to think about creating cover songs in this way. So I hope you found this information useful. If you're looking for a lot more information on improving your songwriting, I have a free cheat sheet for you, which you can download by tapping on the screen here. And also, if you have not yet uh, subscribed to this YouTube channel to stay updated on our latest songwriting videos, you can tap our logo on the screen for that. Thank you again for checking out this video, and I will talk to you in the next one. Take care.